<laughs> Hello everybody. I'll, I'll talk in this one. I won't give you another miming video. But y'all knew what I was talking about, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> I got the fuselage put away. It is done and it looks good. Who doggy I like that rivet job. Who did that? <laughs> okay guys. Now we need to make all these gear go up and down. I got that actuator mounted. I just got it with a seat clamp for now. This is pretty much what I did. I'm making another one so I can get it closer. The back of this actuator has got to get as close to the top of the wing as possible so it works off of that angle, you know. It's a little bit high now. I can get it down another eighth inch. It still works fine, but I want to get it a little lower. That made a big difference in that mirror cylinders. Haven't seen so much difference on this, but I just kind of chucked it up in there and uh, to uh, get it to work. That's called I just tell Balcom that's instant gratification. <laughs> but see that hole's got to be off center. See that hole is just right next to the edge because of the way it bolts on there, the way that flange is. Okay. Then I just got that big ball link deal right there and uh, with a countersunk screw so it can let it move a little bit. And there's that block I made. See that extends that arm. We couldn't do that with uh, air cylinders because it made the stroke too long. And anything over a three inch stroke on the air cylinders, the shafts get huge. And uh, so that's uh, why we didn't go with a bigger one there. I mean, they're just monstrous. And uh, but that, that seems to work pretty good. Okay. Then I just bolted it on the front, drilled and tapped into this, and uh, bolted it. That gives it a little bit longer. Gives it better leverage. Okay. Now, <clears throat> me and Joe was on Raybot Robot Shop's website. That's where these actuators came from. Robotshop.com. And you know, I was thinking about the 12s for a long time. The 12 volt ones or the 6 volt ones. Okay. Now. When you, if you guys want to order these things, he's got all kinds of uh, different strokes. They've got them down from one inch. I want to use these on the bomber flaps. In fact, and, and you know, they got from one inch stroke, two inch stroke, three inch stroke. And uh, But you got to get the RC one. See, this one has both plugs. It's for RC or computer deal, you know, computer operated. That's the computer cord that's the RC cord and uh, <coughs> Joe actually ordered a 12 volt because they're geared different okay they have a lower stall current but that's because the gear ratio these are 250 to 1 and the 12 volts are uh, 100 to 1 so they're going to move twice as fast but the deal is they ain't going to make them for RC for a couple months. They will be putting them out later, but not right now. Then all the guy will have to do is patch in another battery to this cord. And Ollie, we can get them quicker. You make them go up and down a little quicker. I think they'll be fine. And then just make a separate little lipo pack. But they don't, have, they don't make them as of right now. All they make is these uh, 6 volts. And they work good. It just takes a couple seconds for them to come up. Okay. I didn't rebind it. Okay, ready? But they come up, man. And it's a super light setup. Oh shoot, it's hit that horn. It's that gear door horn. <coughs> Gotta watch 
what you were doing all the time. And then he shut off. Now this is going to be just like upside down but in reverse. On them other ones I tested them both ways and they work great. I actually had dad over here was holding it upside down and push is just as good as it pulls so it's going to come up. That'll be the harder side. Now we're going to add in the wind and some Jesus. This is a two pound hunk of lead. Two pounds. Okay. We'll put it right on that wheel. We're not helping it. See, that's, that's plenty good. They're going to work, and they're going to work well. And just that first turn, I'll leave. We're going to have to keep the G's down. Uh, you know, it's going to come up. They don't even slow down with this. And um, we're still within the range. Remember, I put my amp meter on it when I was playing with it the first time. And it's still well within the range of the amps before it stalls. So uh, we're good to go on that, buddy. Joe, let me get you a shot of this uh, piece right here. See, it's just a. Uh, I can measure that, I reckon. So I'm gonna. I left that piece of aluminum at Dad's. I went to Dad's this morning, and I was gonna get some aluminum to make some of them. And I left it. Went and left it there. And that is about an inch and five eighths. About an inch and five eighths long, and it just bolts right onto the front. And if if your uh, if your gear won't lock up, you know, you got to trim that this wood right here. Just a little bit of that wood. It'll be it'll be close. You might not have to, but uh, if it if there's just a little slop right here when it's up, you got to trim that. And, uh, but I, I, you know, I know they're a little slow, but they work without doing damage. Uh, see this gear door right here. It flops down and then it hits the wheel. See how close that is in there, man. It's just about a credit card width there and about a credit card width there, and you don't touch nothing. So when you're putting these gear in, you got to have your wheels and uh, put your duck in there and get that thing slid around just right because there's a little bit of play right there, you know. You can't just bolt the gear in and hope all that works. Okay, now that's why all this has got to be done before you glue this duck in, Joe. You see, I made a new one for Ollie's because the, really the only reason I had to was this hole was too big. Oh, it's over there. This whole bolt hole was too big. For, that air cylinder had a bigger bolt in it. So uh, that's why I had to make a new one for Ollie's. But I'm going to... When I make these new ones, I'm going to try and get the bolt holes to line up. But still, I'm stuck with using this little screwdriver. But if you don't have these ducks in here, you can drill, drill in there. And then I use self-tapper screws to screw in that aluminum because you can't get no dang tap and die in there. You know, you can't get a, a tap in there. So I used uh, self-tapping screws to drill the hole. To just a little bit undersized and self-tapping screws went right in there because you got to go through this wood there's a quarter inch of wood and then an eighth inch of aluminum 
to where it screws into the aluminum and not just the wood. But if this duck ain't here, man, you can fit a whole drill inside there. With that drop duck there, you can't fit nothing. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to get the holes on this one. I should be able to just take all these old ones right here. And uh match up my holes. See. Yeah. With this hole here. I tried to use it anyway and it's way too big and there's not enough meat on that to drill it out. So <coughs> I just gotta replace them. And these holes gotta be in the right place. But no big deal. But we got working gear. Bam! I'm gonna get these bad boys sanded. See, there ain't no body work to do on these. I haven't got that scuff fixed down there from uh, California. And uh, I'm just gonna sand them real good. I think I'll do the same thing with the panel line tape though. But this ain't gonna need as much. I had a lot of sanding on that fuselage where I did that fixing and stuff. And uh, uh, fix my panel lines a little bit and rivet these bad boys and uh, we're going to be painting the Thunder Chief not long, hopefully next week so, that'll give me, still gives me a little bit over a month to uh, get my tinkering done, I've already had my servos in so they're going to go right back in there in a few days I can have all the radio gear in there's plenty of time how about your turbine, buddy? You get, <laughs> get that thing done? You know, and also, we might need to email Tam. Uh, we might need a new pipe. I didn't think about that. Uh, see if a P200 pipe will work on a P300 pipe. Because uh, I bet you we're going to have to have a fatter pipe. Uh, I don't know, man. We need to talk to Tam about that one. But I'm trucking along, baby, and we're going to get there. And uh, it's going to be one nice-looking jet. Until then, we will see you back in the shop.